Now, today we're going to be uh, checking out how to customize the uh, Avengers Endgame uh, template in Cinema 4D. So this is a little bit complicated and it works with uh, the standalone version of Cinema 4D. But let's just uh, jump into Cinema 4D and we'll have a bit of a look. If I click that, now we're in Cinema 4D. So guys, you can see a few things here right now. Uh, the title is completely not broken up, and that's because I've actually turned off all the uh, the fr fracture components. So I'm just gonna jump in there, and I'll just turn them back on. So there's an outer ring, there's an in there's an inner ring, and then there's just a whole bunch. Of, like these are basically low poly primitives. But look what happens when I turn on the fracture objects. So there's one; it's blown apart completely. An outer loop fracture that and then we'll put the loop parts fracture on as well see already that's a dynamically different scene and all I did was just click one switch now that's the great thing about this Ronai uh, fracture object is that it non-destructively breaks apart your objects and you can get some insanely detailed results now just be aware this is only with the full version of Cinema 4D. Now, also, you can see with the A here that it's got, uh, you probably call that a cap around it or just like an outline, and that's its own thing. So if we turn on the fracture on that, we've got that now. And then if we turn on the fracture on the logo, bam. Okay, so that's our completed logo right there. And you just saw for yourself that how absurdly simple this thing is before you put on any of the fracture. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just gonna grab a drink. <coughs> Sorry, I've had this nagging cough for a couple of weeks now. Hmm. So, what I might do is I'll just show you, what I wanted to do today is to show you how to customize this A because it's actually pretty damn easy and I'm not gonna touch any shortcuts because every time I try to touch a shortcut in one of these live shows something bloody happens <laughs> always cuts to a different camera angle or it actually cuts to um, no audio so at the moment just let me know guys if anything goes wrong because this is this is actually going well so far so if we turn off the fracture on the logo and we turn off the fracture on the outer and you can see that the only thing that's driving this oh sorry and turn that off properly you can see the only thing that's driving all this fracture stuff is oh, it's a simple bit of geometry really it's just a 3d a there's nothing special about it whatsoever. It's an extremely low polygon A. And the thing is, it's not its not a spline, it's not um, Motex or anything like that. All it is, is just, I typed the A out in Motex, and then I just connected it all together, and now it's just one single polygon object. And it's the same with, and this here, all this is, is just an A spline, and if we turn off the sweep nerves, that's all it is. It's just an A spline with a rectangle inside of sweep nerves that turns it into this sort of cap object. Uh, Mason, no, I haven't released the Cinema 4D file. I will be releasing it at the end of this stream so people can have a bit of a play with it. So basically, to customize this, all we have to do is replace both this spline and this A object. Now to do that, we need to make a new one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, rather than do Motex, I, because it gets a little bit complicated, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a spline, a text spline, thank you. Now, and we'll type out, I don't know, let's do an F. So there's our F spline. And we're just going to run through the fonts. 
and actually find the Avengers logo text, whatever it's called. Sorry guys, I got a lot of fonts. Okay, so here it is. Heroic Avenger. And we're gonna pop that down. And let's just scale this bad boy up. So I want it to take up about the exact same space as our A, which means we're probably going to put this up to about 400. Now at the same time, guys, we want to make sure you can actually still see that it is an F. So, so I've got my text, I've, I've got my text line out, I've typed my F, and then what I'm going to do is just grab an extrude, and I'm going to drop that into the extrude. About 10 seconds. Cool, cool, cool. That's good. Okay, so we've now got our 3D letter. Now, what I want to do with this is I then want to make that... Well, firstly, I'm just going to grab that text line. We'll just name that F. And then we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it out. Then what I want to do is I'm going to delete the spline from our sweep nerves here. And I'm going to grab this F. We should be able to drop that in have that actually work. So just bear with me a second. <laughs> okay, that was supposed to work, but it didn't. Huh. Oh, I know why. I know why. Ooh. Just gotta switch these around. Okay, so that's... There we are. There we are. Okay, so I just had the hierarchy wrong. So I'll just go through what I did just then. Okay? We'll just undo all that. Okay, so I copied the spline. Now we've just got to make this editable. So it's actually a spline. Then we want to grab that. We just want to drop it into this sweep nerves. And then make it the bottom. Okay, so now if I turn off our extrude there, you can see we've now got the outline of the F. So that's one part of this that's already done. Okay. Now with our extrude here, just bear with me, I'm just going to turn those off. And we need to make this editable. So we want this whole thing as just one polygon. Or, okay, so we're going to hit the make editable here. So that'll turn it into an extrude, but you can see we have caps. So we don't want that. What we want to do is grab all of these, and then we want to right click, we want to hit connect objects plus delete. So now that F, we'll remove this stuff here, that F is just one object. So now we can grab that and we can drop it in here. And then we're going to grab the texture from the A, delete the A. Now we've got an F. We've got an a, and we've got the outline of the F. Now if we cross our fingers and get down on our knees and pray, we should be able to turn on this fracture and it'll work. So let's try the outer first. Okay, that worked. Awesome, awesome. Now let's turn on this. All right, everyone cross their fingers and their knees. Boom. So there we go. <laughs> we have actually Change that from an A to an F. In real time, rambling all the way. We did have a little bit of an error there, but I figured that out as well. So if we were to say rewind this back and push play, it's going to take forever. <laughs> but if I say, let's just, for an example, we turn off these, these fractures. We should be able to get this to play. No. 
We need to turn off. I think we'd have to turn off all the fractures. Okay, let's try it now. Okay. So there we go. So, camera still animates. Still get the reveal of the big old F. And if we turn on our fractures... And... Let's just try and hit the render button and see how it goes. This does render relatively quickly for me. So you can see, it's pretty impressive how easy that was to customize to a different letter. I mean, really, all we did was just type out a new letter and just make that editable, make the spline editable, drop that in the sweep nerves, drop that, well, pretty much low poly version of that F into our fracture, turn it back on, and then it works. So we're almost done with the render. And you can see, look, we've got we've got good self-shadowing, we've actually got some good detail all around these parts. We've got a volumetric light beyond that. I think it's a spotlight, yep. And we've got a, just a few random lights placed around the scenes that will just catch the edges of these and, and display some uh, some shadows. Now guys, if you're wondering about the uh, the CPU specs, which I can see a few people are, if you head on to the uh, YouTube channel, do a search on new PC, all the specs are there and I think I even open up the PC and go through everything. But yeah, you can see how easy that was to actually do. In fact, I should probably just do an episode of Film Learning or even just cut this one down and show you how easy it is to do.